Hey guys, Techno Mitchell with a video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up, activate, and insert your SIM card into your iPhone 11 on the latest iOS version. So let's get started. So if you have iPhone 11, of course, first thing is we need to put the SIM card in. Now you can always do this later as well. But in order to do that, you look at the SIM ejector tool, which is inside the box, can be found in there. If you don't have this because you got it pre-owned or you got it a different way, you can also take a paper clip, bend it like this, and it works the same as a SIM ejector tool. And we need to go ahead on the right-hand side of our iPhone, find that uh, hole right here for the SIM tray. Now put our SIM ejector tool, give it a nice push. You'll hit it here, I click, it'll pop out the SIM card tray and then we can go ahead and insert our SIM card in there so we'll go ahead and do that so we'll take that and then we'll take our SIM and then locate the cut corners which you can see right here it matches up right here we'll sit this one flat and then it should look like this where the cut corner is right here and it sits nicely after that we're gonna go ahead and take our SIM and then just put it in back same exact way and it should sit flush and then we'll press and hold this side button until we see the Apple logo appear to turn on the iPhone. As you can see here, it's now powering on here and give it about maybe 10 to 15 seconds for it to power back on. And once it's back on, we'll get ahead and get started with setting up the rest of the process. And if your phone isn't turning on and you press it and hold it for a few seconds, sometimes you need to charge it up. So make sure the phone has enough charge. As you can see here now we're at the hello screen ready to go set up we simply swipe up and then start with the language selection and then the country or the region selection and then the appearance if you want it to be default or if you want it medium or larger we'll hit continue and then after that we want to go ahead and click on either set up with another device near it or you can use another device and then we'll go ahead and select our wi-fi network as you need to connect to internet so i'm going to go ahead and connect to my internet here Now once you're connected or entered your password, just hit that join option so it could connect to it. You can also use your computer as well by plugging it in if you don't have Wi-Fi for the internet connection. And after that, we should get onto the next screen for data and privacy. We'll hit continue here. Now you want you can select the phone to be set up for yourself or for our child. We'll just set up ourselves. Face ID basically to scan of your face to unlock your phone to use Apple Pay and other Apple services. You can set it up by hitting continue here and it's going to scan your face or you can always come back and set up later. Was we'll just set up later here. Passcode, it's really important you put a passcode. You can use a six digit passcode or you can select a four digit or custom numeric or alphanumeric as well or simply choose not to have one which isn't recommended but for this demo I'm just skipping over but of course make sure you put a, a set of passcode and then if you want to transfer your data from a previous iPhone either from iCloud backup or from another iPhone or if you can if you have an iTunes backup you can use your Mac or PC or if you're moving stuff from Android there's an app for that as well you can follow along when another tutorial we made for that or if you simply want to just start fresh you can simply choose not to transfer anything now Apple ID is something that you need in order to use iCloud in order to download apps on your iPhone and other Apple services like iMessage and FaceTime you need to either sign into existing one or create one for free or you can always set it up later so that gives you the option to uh, create a new one for free or set it up later in the setting or if you forgot the password you can always reset it so I'm just going to set up later here just to skip through this process and then update your iPhone you can automatically have an update iMessage and FaceTime basically once you sign up for it you can use it so we'll hit continue here location service and privacy if you want to be able to use location services for like maps and other apps you can enable that and then we'll see here Siri if you want to use the voice assistant, you can hit continue and select a voice. Hi, I'm Siri. And then after that, it's going to ask you to say five different commands. Or you can set up later in the setting, which I'll select here. Now, if you want to uh, improve Siri and dictation, um, you can share the audio recording. I simply choose not to, but personal preference. Screen time is something that you get on a weekly report if you want to see how much time you're spending on apps and certain things. It's helpful for a child's device. I'll just simply set up later or you can choose to continue 
and then iPhone analytics if you want to share the analytics report with Apple you can select to do so I'm simply not going to here now you can have the display be either light or dark mode or auto where it turns auto dark after sunset and then light after sunrise so you can select whatever mode you want and hit continue and then you get welcome to iPhone and we're ready to start using our iPhone if you have the SIM card now you can pull down you should see your carrier listed here and you should be good to go you can start making your phone calls and ready to go if you need to download apps just go to the app store you can download apps and if you need to send a message of course a message browser and everything should be good to go and that's how you set up your sim card and activation for your iphone 11 i hope this video was helpful if so please consider a like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks for your iphone and other ios devices see you guys next time